Okay, so we have the unit circle all filled in. Let's see how we use this. First of all, remember that on the unit circle, the first coordinate is cosine, the second coordinate is sine. So if I want to use this unit circle, let's find some of our trig functions. So let's say that I want to find maybe the sine of pi. So looking at the unit circle, I'm going to locate pi, which is on the left side of the circle. And using that coordinate pair of negative 1, 0, the sine is going to be the y coordinate. So simply put, sine of pi is the y coordinate, which is 0. Let's say I want to find the cosine of 2 pi over 3. So again, it's locating 2 pi over 3 on the unit circle. There's our ordered pair. Cosine is going to be the x-coordinate. So as simple as that, the cosine of 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half. Let's say I want the tangent of 270 degrees. So locating 270 degrees at the bottom of the circle, we have the ordered pair of 0, negative 1. Tangent is sine over cosine, so negative 1 over 0, or undefined. Okay, let's say maybe the secant of 315 degrees. So looking 315 degrees, we have our ordered pair, square root of 2 over 2, negative square root of 2 over 2. Secant of the reciprocal of cosine. Cosine is square root of 2 over 2, so secant is going to be the reciprocal of that. And then rationalizing. Okay, let's say it's a cotangent of 7 pi over 6. So locating 7 pi over 6 on our unit circle. We have negative square root of 3 over 2, negative 1 half. Okay, cotangent is cosine over sine, so x over y. So this becomes positive. Because we're dividing top and bottom by 2, the 2's would just cancel, leaving us with positive square root of 3. Let's do one more. Let's say the cosecant of maybe pi over 2. So looking at the top of the circle, pi over 2, we have the ordered pair 0, 1. So cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. Sine is 1. So the reciprocal of 1 is 1.